Today I'm going to bring you a new projector that isn't even out in the market yet. This is called the Nomadic L500. It's the world's smallest triple laser projector that's considered portable. And the crazy thing about it is they claim a hundred percent of rec 2020. Now, before we go on and talk too much about the projector, I think it's first good to start about some controversy. It's interesting because uh, the television market, there's been uh, this shift in ideology. Uh, some people believe in more pixel count. And so you'll see that you see a 1080p television or maybe a 4k and they're even starting to push now 8k televisions. And on the other side of this, you're also seeing color pushed uh, and you're seeing that with the uh, emergence of things like HDR or HDR 10 or HDR plus or Dolby vision. And that has to do with the amount of colors that are actually being reproduced. And there's this divide among manufacturers of televisions of what's more important is uh, quality of picture or the amount of colors more important than the actual pixel count, or is it the amount of pixels that's more important than the amount of colors? Interestingly enough, a lot of people don't even think about this because uh, unfortunately, when you buy a television that says it's HDR, or Dolby Vision compatible or any of those things, you just assume it has the same amount of colors as any other television. And that's just not the case. Uh, in order to really convey this, I want to go ahead and show you some graphs. If we take a look at this first graph, this first graph actually shows you all the colors that can be reproduced in the spectrum of light, basically what we can see. Uh, so when you go outside, this is the visible spectrum that you can see. Now, believe it or not, television or HD television doesn't actually show you all those colors. In fact, it just shows you this little tiny triangle here. This is called Rec 709. And this is only about 36% of your actual visible color. Now, you do have some other uh, variations in between here called DCI-P3, which does give you about 54% of the colors. And then at the very, very end of the spectrum, or the the highest spectrum that we have right now is called Rec 2020. And that gives you about 76% of the visible spectrum. This makes things uh, more vibrant, more realistic, and for a lot of people more enjoyable to watch because you're actually seeing a lot more color than you would typically see. And that's really what a lot of people think they're getting when they're buying an HDR television and they're not. In fact, uh, there's only about a handful of projectors that I can possibly think of that can actually reproduce Rec 2020, 100% of it at least. And uh, the cheapest one is about uh, $2,400 uh, until now. Now, Nomadic obviously believes that the amount of color that you receive is much more important than pixel count. See, this does actually accept a 4K signal, but it outputs it in 1080p, but it outputs it with a hundred percent of rec 2020. Now I did actually test this because I didn't believe that a projector this small could actually reproduce all of rec 2020, but believe it or not, it actually did uh, reproduce a hundred percent of rec 2020. Of course it does cover all of your SDR content as well as uh, DCI P3. So what does that mean for you? That means uh, that out of any television projector or anything that you can buy, this actually offers, the most amount of colors that you could possibly get out of a television today. And that is very, very special. Now they're able to do that because they use what we call a triple laser projection system. So inside this projector, there's actually three lasers in here. There's a red laser, a green laser, and a blue laser. Now those get combined to recreate all the colors on the spectrum, just like you would see on the graph that we showed you earlier. It's a very special technology and uh, pretty impressive really if you think about it. Now what's even more impressive is that they're able to do this in a small compact size. Nomadic actually calls this a portable projector uh, and part of that's due to its size, uh, but they actually have gone above and beyond to make this uh, even more of a portable unit. Uh, one of the hardest things about having a projector is setting it up. Now if you take a look right next to the lens here, you're going to see another camera system. Now this is designed so that when you put your projector down, it will auto focus your projector. It's also going to auto keystone it and basically fit it into your screen 
so that it fits hopefully perfectly. Now, if it doesn't fit perfectly, you can easily uh, go in and change uh, the corners so that it fits as good as it possibly can on your screen. And that's pretty cool that Nomadic has done that. A couple companies have started doing this, and I, I really do like this technology because uh, in the past, for people that aren't used to projectors, it's just been a pain to set up. And Nomadic tries to make that easy to set up. Now, another thing that would make a portable projector would have to be its sound quality. And that's really important because the sound quality of a projector is usually pretty horrendous. But Nomadic did partner up with Harman Kardon, and the sound in here is actually made by Harman Kardon. And it does sound significantly better than any normal projector would sound like, or even really any normal television would sound like. Interestingly enough though, what they did choose to do is that the sound actually outputs only from one side. It doesn't output from both sides. So uh, you wanna keep that in mind, especially if you're gonna be outdoors. Now it did get loud enough uh, for us to be able to listen to it. Although I did mainly use this particular projector indoors. I also want to talk a little bit about how you get video on the screen. So there's a couple different ways that you can get video on the screen. One way that you can get video on the screen is with the built-in apps. There's a couple built-in apps. I wouldn't say a lot. Um, in fact, like Netflix, for example, is built in, but you can't use it unless you have a keyboard and a mouse or at least a mouse with it. It's I, I don't really think it's really a viable option. Instead, I would tell you to use one of these on the back side, uh, which they do have an HDMI port to plug in something like the NVIDIA Shield 2019, which is what I used to be able to project the images to it. Uh, you do have a USB-C and of course a USB port as well, which a lot of people will use for something like a Fire Stick or Chromecast or something of that nature which you could also use with this projector. Now, if you don't wanna do any of those things, you can also screencast your phone to it. So you can actually uh, take whatever's on your phone and cast it to this projector if you'd like. One of the things that I think is overlooked is just how a projector looks. And this is pretty interesting because this does look futuristic. And it really does fit this because I've never seen a projector that looks like this and I've never seen a projector in this price range be able to perform with the amount of colors that it does. Now I mentioned before the only other projector that I can possibly think of uh, off the top of my head that produces 100% of BT2020 is about $2,400. So you would think that this would be somewhere near that. It's not. Uh, they're going to go on Kickstarter on July 31st and I would make sure to sign up below. You can actually sign up to get um, notification of when that goes live because it's going to go live and it's going to go for a special price of $700 when Kickstarter hits. Now after Kickstarter hits it's going to go back to um, well I don't know the exact price but the suggested retail price is $450 more so you're going to want to think about that if this interests you. Let's talk a little bit about picture quality because although we talked about all the colors that can be reproduced, you also need to reproduce them accurately. So you need to be able to reproduce the color that you want when you want it. When I first got this, the color accuracy wasn't the greatest. It's about 10. Now, keep in mind, that's about what you would get on a normal television when you buy it. If you haven't done any calibration or anything of that nature, um, you would get a Delta Air of 10. Delta Air goes anywhere from one to 100. Three and under is basically imperceivable, meaning that if it tells it to reproduce a certain color, red, green, or blue, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This one got a Delta Air after calibration of five, which is very respectable, especially with the amount of colors that it can reproduce. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you my calibration settings down below so that if you buy this, you can calibrate yours, or at least start have a good starting point of how to calibrate yours uh, for this particular projector. The Once I had this calibrated, I started a couple shows um, and I started off with some of Our Planet on Netflix and I gotta be honest, it just, some of it just made my jaw drop at times. It was just so beautiful and the colors were just so much more vibrant than I'm used to on any other projector. The projector really looked more like a television than a projector and that is a huge compliment. A lot of people aren't gonna really understand that that haven't had a projector before, but it looked very bright, very vibrant, something I wasn't expecting. Um, and it looked a lot brighter than like a typical 
a budget projector that I've used in the past that isn't like a triple laser. And it's just because of the way the triple laser actually um, is creates the, the picture. It just does have that more vibrant of a picture. Now I have a complete light controlled room that I'm testing this in, but it really shows off its be most beautiful colors when it's in that type of environment. But what I found most interesting is that I really expected, obviously, the HDR to perform well, and it did. I mean, they, no matter what I watched on it, the colors just really popped out. But even on SDR content that I didn't expect it to, it really performed well. So one of the things that really surprised me was some of the black areas in like a movie like Real Steel. Like when you take a look at his jacket, you're seeing a lot of detail there uh, that I've missed on other projectors. Or when you're watching uh, movies like Megamind, the amount of colors and the vibrancy on this were just absolutely gorgeous. Having said that, it's just a really pretty picture and I really do appreciate it. Now, one of the other reasons that this started to look really well is because it does use MEMC. Now, that's a motion enhancement that basically takes your motion and helps smooth it out. And that could really make these just look even more realistic than they did before. I gotta say there are times where I started watching this that I was just in awe of the picture. And, and that's surprising because I would never have expected a $700 projector to be able to do that. Now I know that Nomadic believes that this is a portable projector, or at least that's how they market it. And it is, it fits all the criteria of a portable projector. But here's the deal. I would highly suggest anyone that wants to start with like a budget home theater that wants something that really cares about that uh, color quality, the amount of colors that you can get from it. I would highly suggest taking a look at the Nomadic, especially right now while it's at $700 on Kickstarter. If you want to get one of these, like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description. If you like this video and enjoy reviews like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you could do me a huge favor and just hit that like button and throw me a comment down there. Not only do I like to hear it, it helps out the channel. All right, guys. Thanks. This is Toyd's DIY Audio and I'm out.